Hello everybody, it's Monday morning. Pouring a 16 by 26 by 6 inch slab this morning. We got 4,000 PSI. Just a garage slab. We set this up a couple weeks ago. We've been this long waiting to get concrete. But we got it today. Between having a hard time getting concrete and the weather. We're finally going to get this done for the guy. Brian will be watching the video. Make sure you're pulling the wire. Yeah, <laughs> right, Brian? So we like that consolidate the concrete on the edges just so when we pull the boards off there isn't any air pockets or what we call rock holes along the sides of the form so we just tap that edge for the most part it's pretty good but if you don't tap it you're going to get a few here and there you can see that just you can see that right there how that consolidates it sometimes you can even see a little air bubble come out and just pop out we set this all to grade when we were here the first time, but we haven't checked it. It's been a couple weeks, so I'm just going to go around. I'm just going to go double check it as we go, make sure nothing's moved. That's a self-leveling laser, so you just need to get it somewhat level, doesn't have to be perfect. Hit the on button, and then it self-levels itself, and then it'll start spinning that laser beam around, and then the receiver, the receiver is going to catch the laser beam in here. you got that much of a width for it to catch it, and it'll tell you if you got to go up or down, and then it tells you when you're right perfect. It'll have a straight line. See that? Telling me i got to go down to hit the laser beam. Now I'm a little too low, then I go up right there. So when I, when it beams out like that, when it straight lines out, that means that's where I, right where I want to set the laser, the receiver. So I'll tighten it right there. <clears throat> then I can go around and check, and I may have to adjust it after I tighten it. So I got to go down just a little bit more. Luke showing showing Joe how to puddle behind the chute. A little bit of a trick to it. Once you once you get it though, you it's pretty easy. But it's kind of important. You don't want to get the concrete too high, you don't want to get it too low. 
as you're pouring it out of the chute. So what you're trying to do is get it right even with the top of this form. I was just let me do it. Some of it's off a little bit. Just a tiny bit. I'm trying to get it as flat as possible. You're going to jump right up in there with them guys. Yeah. It's all, that's all pretty good back there. It's just where that scab is and here, right here could be struck. Always moving with the same rhythm as them, Joe. Even if you don't pull nothing, you're just trying to. They want a tiny little roll coming back, but not too big. See how his edge. Now the most important part is his edge. If that if that high gets out over, see where the end of his straight edge is going. Yeah. See the line. Yeah, circle line up. If it gets out over it, then he's got to stop and then you clean it. So what we try to do is just, as he's kicking. Scrape off the top. Yeah, try to keep that without hitting his feet and tripping him or hitting his fingers. So we're always like. tell the newbies when they stop it's our problem because they're stopping for a reason yeah either either we're too high we're too low or if they just ran out of pad that's one thing is that right in other words if they stop we don't unless they're out of pad like darren is see how darren just ran out Just a little bit, it looks like. There. Probably pretty good, yeah. Gonna wash out across the street when we're ready. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. Might need to scrape a little bit, yeah. Good. Running head high on this side. <clears throat> Give that a quick strike. Hey Luke, just watch him go over that grass grill. Never bow floated before? No. Alright, hold on that just for a second, then move that laser. Alright, so that handle twists to move the pitch and just we just want to start with a slight up pitch on the on the blade. Talking about just up and down? Or yeah. twisting it? Just, yeah, just by twisting it. Just give it a little bit of up pitch. Oh. And just you know hold the handle at a comfortable level for you. you Lay down? Yeah, just put it down and just slowly stop pushing it across now what what I, now can you see <clears throat> I call that a pucker mark where I pick it up and set yeah. it down can you see where I pick it up and set it down yeah. now see where you did there's a little difference right like I'm in a little bit further oh, yeah. and the reason for that is right right when you come down off that board it's gonna leave it's gonna that low. see how it leaves that divot right yeah. on the board yeah. and, and it's just I don't like that no, that's good. I, yeah I like I like leaving the divot right about there because okay. after I'm done bull floating I'm just gonna do this and smooth that out and if that divot's not there it just makes it easier so right you start right about there just nice and slow across and when you get over there see how i stopped about six inches from the board yep. i'm gonna do the same thing i'm just going to change the pitch pull it back nice and slow yep perfect yep right, there. right about there looks good yeah. A little bit of a divot on that end. Yeah, don't worry about that. The mag like that will take it right and out. It stop six inches prior. Yeah, just pick it up like I did. And I like to kind of I slide it and pick it at the same time. It doesn't stick quite so bad. All right. And same thing. Same thing. Yeah. For this slump, this was about a six inch slump. But one time down and back usually does a good job. If it's a little stiffer, you may have to go two times, maybe three times. Does it matter on the speed, or you just want to get faster? Yeah, I think I think the more comfortable you get with doing it, you could go a little bit faster. But yes, the speed does matter. If you go too fast, you're just going to kind of what I call tear the surface. Yeah. It's going to pull that rock apart from each other. And you're just trying to settle the aggregate and bring up this cream. That's all you're trying to do, really. Day like today on a small pool, your speed doesn't matter. On a bigger pool, we got a lot man. of square footage. The bull float guy just kind of wants to keep up best he can. But I forget how much overlap you want. That's Is pretty it? good. Yeah, okay. about about an inch or two. On 10,000, 15,000 square foot pours, the guy that ended up picking up the bull float first usually got stuck with it for the whole <laughs> pour because he was just trying to keep up with the street guys. Yeah. You know, I think it's kind of fun. But it does. It hurts your back after a while. Yeah. On big pours.
before they had the twist handle they had you had to just move it up and down to change the pitch and that that really wore hard on your back it's kind of stuff i enjoy that meticulous kind of attention to detail trying to learn yeah i'm all about trying to learn tips and tricks this is where that rounded edge comes in good see how that leaves a little bit of a line yeah. what's that maybe an eighth to a quarter yeah. on a square edge that's going to be a lot deeper You want to be right on the edge over here? Yeah, pretty close. I mean, if, if you're if you're an inch or two away, it's okay because you're gonna go around and mag it after anyway. Dude, I'm gonna leave that loose spot. Them guys usually, when they're done screeding like that, they'll take their mags and clean that board off. Right now, they're just gabbing. Come on, you schmuck. <laughs> Hold on a minute, Luke. Don't take all this front away. Just remember, the there. Yep. It feels like it's not right. I'll check it. All right, now since we got really good access around this thing, now we can let the bow float do a little bit more of our work instead of instead of the mag. So now what I would do is I'd walk over to that side and I'd run the bow float right down where you picked it up all those times, just just a pass here. Then I'd go over there and do a pass there, then go around the back and do another one. And then you're only going to have to really pick, end up magging where you pick it up right here. Is this going to reach all the way down there? <laughs> no, nah, you're going to you're going to have to right. just go as far as you can, then start from the other side. We're going to be close. Yep, just like that. Looks pretty good. This is fun. You got your mag on you? I do. Okay. Now just clean that edge up. And the reason we like to clean it up is like if we're leaving just one guy here to finish. Let's say this was you just staying here to finish. And <clears throat> the stuff starts setting up on you, the sun's coming up, you leave that edge like that, man, that's gonna be that's gonna be hard to try to smooth that out later. So we'll just try to get everything as good as we can. We just put this on the ground or <laughs> yeah, I just set that down for a sec. We'll just try to get it as good as we can, as soon as we can, and then it makes the next phase a little bit easier. So I would just try to smooth that out a little bit, and, and I'm, I'm not uh, like I'm not looking for perfection here yet. I'm gonna fix that later. Yep. Just Let's trying get to get, out. trying to get that crap out. If that stuff gets hard on me, then I'm really pushing hard to fix that later on. I think it's all the little pig. I guess you swipe, come in, right? Nah, like you watch how I do it. So I'd stay right. I'd start right here. I'd probably, I'd probably put my end pretty even with the board, yep. and I'd just down and back. You know, see how good that piece is now. Yeah. That, that's and all I do. That little whip, dude. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry too worry much about, about that. Nah, not yet. I'd you know, come back in 20, 30 minutes and probably do the whole thing again. Okay. As it sets up. Yep. Have you never put ankle bolts in then? Nope. Okay. No. These are pretty easy. So obviously most guys most guys will use either a two by four, right? So they have a three and a half inch plate or they'll have a two by six, which is about five and a half inches. You're talking about for the base or foundation, right? <laughs> yeah, for you know, they'll lay that plate down first, then they'll build their wall and set it up yep. on top of that plate. We call that a sill plate. So they how they anchor that is with these. Have you ever seen these before? No. You've never even seen these? No. Okay. I've seen a plate for like a diving board and stuff to where 
they're built in like a form but not like that yep well these are just to anchor that first plate down that's all it is all right. and you know if, if you've ever if you've ever framed a wall which you said you haven't but if you let's say you had framed a wall you know you got studs every 16 about every 16 inches right yep. okay and there's always one here and then there's usually if if this wall is going this way that first stud's going to be there yep. and then 16 16 16 and then usually the second another stud is here when they build this wall this way so when we put these anchor bolts in a lot of times we don't know which way they're going to start so we like to start in from the corner a little bit about like that and just sink it to about there that that gives them a little play now they could start if they want to start this wall this way right the studs here and the walls going like this yep. so it gives them a little play either way i'll get yeah we'll come get our boots okay. let's, let's go like wash it. our boots and i'll come back and show you i know you want to get out of here you got more work so again i'll come in about this far. anchor bolt anchor bolt anchor bolt and then just eyeball the rest okay yeah and is there a set amount that needs to go down the side nah like i said every four or five, five feet okay. yeah right. unless the guy's here and he's real fussy about it sometimes you might hit that rebuy that's down in there too just work it around if you feel like it hits it You gonna try to line them up next to my peers or? Yeah, I probably ought to put one more here. Okay. You got, you got enough over there? I've got four more in the hand. Okay. okay. Uh, we'll break them up. We'll break them up. All right, so we got about probably an hour and a half or so before we got to worry about finishing. So we'll check back with you when we stop finishing. <laughs> 